That's all the missiles dealt with. Radio. Better call in the bombing raid. Mother Hand, this is Red Fox. Send your regards. I repeat, send your regards to Allegra. All I wanted was the Angel. I didn't know the partisans would follow her to their deaths. <laughs> they followed her because she gave them hope. They died heroes. Hope, in reality, is the worst of all evils. Because it prolongs the torments of man. Friedrich Nietzsche. <laughs> General Bohm, I presume. The worst terrors are shapeless. Formless. If no one knows who I am, I can be whoever I need to. I can uh, manipulate. <laughs> I can avoid detection if need be. I could be a man. Oh. <laughs> or a monster. Dorfman or Bone. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have Kessler, and the production facility is erect. Uh, Kessler will be dead before he's any use to the Allies. And as for your little uh, mischief <laughs> in the production facility, well. It's just too late. Yeah. I'm going to start with the USS Lancome. The illustrious General Eisenhower. I'll take the Allied fleet, ship by ship. Operation Avalanche will be extinguished before it's even begun. See, if only this was enough. But, uh, it's not. Bring her in here! I failed, Carl. I failed them all. I failed my father. Yeah. See, there is no hope here. Not anymore. We're going to torture her. Yeah. And, uh... You're going to watch. <laughs> Lieutenant. <laughs> All it takes... is a spark. find anything else.
Sophia sacrificed herself so I could escape. Better make sure it wasn't in vain. go. including Eisenhower's command ship, Ancon, was saved. Avalanche happened as planned. The U.S. 5th Army and British 8th fighting their way up the Italian mainland. The Angel was dead. But the spark she ignited spread like wildfire, clearing the way for the Allies. But the path to Rome would be treacherous. And it'd be another year before we broke through the Gothic line. The Germans' main line of defense. They did it without us, the townsfolk. Pushed him out before the 5th Army even got here. All it took was a spark. Talking of which, I hope 617 Squadron didn't singe your limey ass. <laughs> Let's just say it was a little tight. I thought you were giving me a bit more leeway. Carl, you and I are utterly expendable. You know that. Not like your man there. The professor <laughs> hasn't got long left. <laughs> Trust me, though, we'll squeeze what we can out of him. More to the point, uh, what about you, Carl? What's you gonna do? The man who saved Ike Eisenhower! Woo-wee! 
OSS could sure use someone with your talents. That sounds like a job offer. Doesn't it, though? I'll think about it. Sure thing. Don't think about it too long. We got a war to win. <laughs>